So these are the lithium batteries that I'm talking about. You could build a pretty big charging system. How's it going guys? So just a quick video on how you could technically extend your car's range. Now, many people have had the idea of adding some more batteries to your EV vehicle to make it go much farther on electric mode only, but I wouldn't recommend tapping into the vehicle's onboard 360 volt system. At least that's the amount of voltage and that's how powerful the system is inside of the Chevy Volt because that could be pretty dangerous and you don't want to mess with the car's electronics or anything. They're programmed specifically for the size of battery that's in your vehicle currently. So what I mean by extending your EV's range by adding more batteries is, well, you still are going to be adding batteries, but my idea isn't with tying those batteries into the vehicle's onboard battery system and extending the range. It would still be a plug-in setup. And what I mean by that, sorry about the wind, is you would add some batteries, just sit them inside the trunk of your EV, they would charge up by using the vehicle's 12 volt battery system. And then if you ever need any more range, you could technically plug in wherever you're at by putting a system in the back here that can charge your EV using the batteries that are charged in the back of your car. And those would recharge using the car's 12 volt battery system. So the car's 12 volt battery system on the Chevy Volt is in the back here and sorry about the mess but it's underneath all the clutter you would just sit the batteries in the back here and just set them up to where they could recharge using the car's 12 volt battery and the car's 12 volt battery recharges with the car so while the car is running the car uses its high voltage battery to recharge the 12 volt battery you would just use the 12 volt battery in the back here and use that to recharge the batteries that are sitting in the back of your car. And then you can technically plug in wherever you're at. You would put a system back here and a power cord. Even if you're in the middle of nowhere, you would grab that out of the back of your car, bring it over here and just plug in anywhere, wherever you were. I have hooked up an inverter back here. That's in one of my previous videos that you can go check out. I was able to run a 200 watt load on that inverter and the car's system was able to keep the 12 volt battery charged while the car was running. So it was basically like having unlimited power because you're tapping into the car's 360 volt, 16 kilowatt hour battery system. And that system will continually recharge the car's 12 volt battery, which in turn will charge those extra batteries that you put in the back of your car. Now, I'm not sure how I would do this setup yet. I might do it and include it in a future video. So be sure to stick around and check that out if that comes out in the near future. But it's just an idea of how you could technically extend the range of your EV. I'll go ahead and insert a little clip of the type of lithium battery that I would be using. I would parallel a handful of them and then hook them up to an inverter to make this system work. So the car's 12 volt battery system is underneath here. The battery sits here under this cover and then you could tie into the electronics. As you can see, I put an inverter in here to power whatever household appliances I would want to. So you would tie into the system there, bring the cabling up here and plug it into your batteries. So these are the lithium batteries that I'm talking about. You can buy a bunch of these and parallel them together and create a system that you could plug in your charge cable to, which would then in turn plug into your car. You could fit quite a bit of these back here. They do have some weight to them, but not a whole lot compared to the amount of power that you would get from them while being able to charge wherever you were. You could build a pretty big charging system out of all of these just by having multiple of them and then you basically have extended your vehicle's range. So there you have it. That's just a quick little idea of how you could extend your car's range. It's not the best solution to extend your range because you obviously couldn't have your car plugged in 
while you're moving at the same time but it's just an idea of the possibility of extending your range now that's just a quick little idea i have that i may try to implement and try out in the future so stick around and check that out if that video ever comes out thanks for tuning in be sure to subscribe comment and like and i'll see you in the next one Oh,